Oh god, he got it. Oh yeah. All right, boys, you guys might have seen us previously trying to catch a grouper. Unsuccessfully, it ended up being a shark. But that shark was a good test. And I think I should be able to handle a big grouper on my black jungle ogre if we are lucky enough to encounter one. I picked up a 130 pound shock leader here and i'm just gonna tie a dropper loop system okay so just old school dropper loop just like this bring it together probably don't need a whole lot of wraps maybe like three wraps and then pull it through it's a little trickier with this super heavy line that okay so I got my loop to my hook okay and on the bottom end of this I got this really really big sinker I don't even know how to tie this I guess it really doesn't matter I just a uni knot a couple turns suffice so really not gonna bear any load try to minimize my wasted tagging just draw that down to the weight that is sufficient okay now what do you guys think i should do we've got what <laughs> uh catch that <laughs> oh my gosh okay let's try this first this is what these boys call a fish frame we're just gonna i'm just gonna cross hook it in the nose actually these little snappers are tough what are you doing right now, Joshy? I'm gonna start billing this bloody fish up. Oh, what, what did you call it? Burly. Burlying. What you guys call it chum? That's right. How to speak Australian. So here's my rig. Drop shotting. Good luck. Transducer's down there, right? Straight down. See? <laughs> that might be me. Is it on the bottom now? Yeah. Yeah. It's not quite live scope, but check that out. Got a little lift and drop action on our uh, fish frame. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna actually gonna flip this giant monstrosity out there and work it back. <laughs> Don't be scared, mother. <laughs> He's like, I'm out. He's all, nope. Not hanging around for that. Now, do you think I'll be able to tell what a bike feels like? Is the question. I'm hoping if he's tight to the wall that I'm actually sucking him off of it to come up under the boat. We got Josh here burlying off the bow. Try to bring some life to the back of the boat here where we can hook this thing away from the structure. Oh dude, this thing was If it was the one oh, it was he was somewhere behind the boat. What are we doing, mate? We just got one of our fish, fish frames from yesterday. Just scraping off tiny little bits of fish, just back into the water. 
get a few little fish. Not even working in behind the boat, and that should attract the big ones. Probably attract the bloody crocs and sharks too, but just make sure we're not hanging over the boat too much and dampening our arms in the water. Well, we tried. No sign of the grouper. So we've been throwing the, <clears throat> the canada all morning. Only caught the one little cod, no barramundi action. So we're gonna try and mimic something a little bit smaller. And these guys fit the bill. Ooh. Nice heavy weight, concealed hook. I haven't used these yet, but I hear good things. What do you think it's gonna mimic here? What are we calling them? Mud skipper. Kind of look a little bit like it. Yeah. Sweet. Good luck. Thank you. Kitty wants it. Be careful with these, hey, because that top spine is going to, if you get that on you, yeah, it will hang out. It looks just like a channel cap. Do you, do they have that bad spine on them? Oh, yeah. Do you have any cockatoo? So, you got any fun facts about this? Um, yeah, well, I'm pretty sure it's this, um... Pretty sure it's just proper caddy. Is um, when they get really big, you cut the head off, and you can boil the boil the skull so the meat comes off it, and the top of the skull actually looks like Jesus on a cross. So I've been told. So I've read in a couple of fishing books. I've seen them in toast before. Pardon? A toast pattern. Just the bar with those mullets. Okay. 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 Oh, something's after them. Okay. He's on. Oh boy. Oh, oh shit. Get him out. Awesome. Why does this hang? Like feel for me. <laughs> you getting him? Oh I shit. Know, not really. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh, oh, we, we we're just busting through roots. Oh yeah, he's on there. Oh, uh, oh busting God. through another root. God, oh, he's damn. on there. Oh, dude, it is not little. It's a good fish. It is not little. Careful. Get him in there, Josh. What the heck? You're gonna be in a world of strife in there. Get it tight. Well, he's back out here now. I know. Can't see him. Come on. Trying to get it around. Okay. Hey, why? Yeah. Oh. 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 
one more. Oh, careful, careful. I gotta see what this thing is. Keep going. Give it down. Oh, he's still on there. Come on. Oh, yeah. I need to get. Uh, yeah. Keep going. Someone with the trolling motor. He's definitely still on there. He's out of range. He's up under that log. There he is. There. Yeah. He's just right. down under Hold that. On. Hold on, Cal. Hold on. That's too much. Try not to run. Just not my. God damn it. Let me get the line down underneath that. Yeah. One more. One more. The big one. I'm holding this thing up. Alright. We're good, we're good. Okay, come on, one more. Alright, someone needs to be on the trolling motor only. I think it's a caddy. No, is it? He's he's not there. It's saying it. It's under that log there. That's the rubber collar we're gonna take it out. Yeah. That was an adventure. <laughs> There's a metery. Is he gone? He's about that long. I don't feel him. And I think wedged. he's down there. Is he back in underneath there? I'm trying to see if he can drive in. Grab the pole. Is that him? We're stuck. He's going down. I seen him. He went down under there and then he sat on there. He's down under that. I mean, through a lot of branches and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to move that one. I think it was a good caddy. Dude, that thing was pulling harder than anything hmm. that I've hooked. Did you hear me just kicking by it? Nothing. Nothing. What the fuck did this for wedge me on? Wow, what a shit show that was. All right, just back us off. Oh, there he is. You just spooked him. I'll get your lawn. I'll get your lawn. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. Here, here. Somebody else grab this. Oh, God. Now leave it just as an insurance policy, just so it has, we have the line somewhere. It's gonna cut my freaking hand. He's just there. Yeah. What is this thing? Dude, it is not little. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. Wow! Wow! He said a catfish! <laughs> Yeah! Oh, that was God. so dope! That was so crazy! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh God! Dang, what the heck is going on here? It is wild down under right now. That was the craziest unsnagging sequence that I've ever been a part of or experienced. We're in the back of this little drain. Like, what is going on? Like, there is a lot of life going on. I pitched my dark sleeper up into these roots right behind us. And 
I was like, man, this, this root feels kind of funny. <laughs> and you guys just saw the madness that ensued, but jo I was about to give up because I didn't feel anything. It was just wedged. And Josh put the lure retriever through that, that freaking snag right there and actually snagged the line out and woke the fish up. And I got my first grouper of some kind. Juvenile groper. Nice. Super cool. But uh, we're going to cut the bait off so I can actually get my line back underneath <laughs> or back from underneath the log because we're still wrapped all the way around that. So just goes to show, do not give up. Like I was super focused trying to get my line through all of those mangrove roots. Like that was sick. And look, look what's in the net. A new fish, a new PB, freaking new memory. Yeah. Place full. Okay, here, back up a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, we're just gonna cut. Oh no no no! Cut out the leader. You're gonna cut right there. Yeah. Is this a bad time to remind everyone about crocodiles? Oh god! <laughs> One's probably just been watching us this whole time. I forgot all about that. <laughs> okay, cut it. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're gonna just cut this. All right, now we should be able to wind the rod through. Done. Yeah, we get the board rod. Just out it. Oh, dude, that is not a little fish. How sick is that, huh? Look at Josh, come look at this. Look at these parasites living on this guy. It's like a sea louse or something. Here, we'll do you a, a, we'll do you a favor, play it. Yep, look at that. It's probably just full of his blood too. Just call me all over the blenny. Squish. These guys have been listening to me talk about catching a grouper nonstop since we got here and had some close calls on the big mega dog yesterday. But we're gonna get this magnificent animal back in the water. Uh, so cool. I'll never forget this fish catch. What a beautiful fish. Yeah. I mean, that thing's probably 15 to 20 pounds. It's dense, man. It's heavy. All right, honey. Hey man, dream work makes a team or teamwork makes a dream work, right? <laughs> there is no way you, I could have got that fish if Thank you.